So for this last video, before we go like into data analysis uh, in Power BI, what I wanted to, to, to show you is how do I connect uh, Kobo Toolbox with Power BI. Mm, for those that they don't know, Power BI is a, it's what is called a business intelligence software. It's freely available. I mean, it's, it's free to download. You can use it and do a lot of things just by, by having um, uh, like the, the the free version so to say and I'm going to show you the way I do it there is another way that uh, they explain in uh, in the Kobo Kobo website if you if you go and, and type into Kobo toolbox uh, support pulling your data into Power BI this is the way they show I never managed to make it work I don't know why but it gives me some kind of error so I figure it out my own way by by knowing that this is the address I need to go reports and then the export and the language so just by having that I, I figured out how to do it and this is the way I, I currently do it so I go to my projects I'm going to get for example data from uh, from test BF which is the same form that I show you uh, for the video tutorials for the surveyors in the in the video video 7 I think um, so what I need to do I'll, I'll click on here in here and then you you see that this is the total uh, the, the, the whole address I will just copy paste these characters here before the word summary I'll copy them and I will I will paste them here right so this is the instance of the of the form that I'm going to use and then I have this uh, is the generic uh, CK uh, website and then my username is this one and see I might have report the division and then I have reports and then I copy this I paste it in here and then just add the underscore export dot CVS right so So the generic would be your user name and then reports and then your report instance okay so it would be sorry it would be like this just have to change these two for for your particular one so if your username is uh, Juanito you put Juanito and if the report instance is a uh, it's always like 23 characters something like this so it would be like something like this then you put it and then you get it I copy this copy this hyperlink and then I'll go to Power BI now and make it big and then you click in get data small arrow here and then you go to web and then I just paste it here and then click OK it the first time it may ask you to to authorize so you will have to put your username and your um, and your password possibly and then you have it here so already I'm just going to load it it's going to load uh, the the data and the important thing is that this data is live. So whenever you add more submissions in Power BI, when you will have, uh, instead of five submissions, 11, like here, you will have more and more uh, data added. So I have here all the columns that I ask by default they change they, they change the um, the order and they come in um, in alphabetical order so that is why also good to have them number so then it will go by number instead of by name but I wanted to show you here uh, what I meant um, when you go to the data tab if you would have a new record it would come here straight away we show there right away 
And in here now, in another series of videos I'll do, I will teach you a little bit how to do the visualizations. But uh, this is the basics on how to how to connect Power BI with Kobo.